Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Dan from FRZ Trading. As you would probably know, now we have Grok, a new contender for the AI race developed by XAI. Today, we are going to test out the newcomer, Grok, against ChatGPT to find out which performs better in Pine scripting for TradingView. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we'll randomly select an existing trading view strategy and then ask both ChatGPT and Grok to improve it and see which one does the job better. We'll be using ChatGPT version 3 Mini High as it's better at coding along with the latest Grok 3. Let's head over to TradingView and select a random strategy. This strategy has been losing when backtesting over the past year on the Euro USD pair on the daily time frame. So, let's get the source code and paste it into ChatGPT and ask for improvements to the strategy. As you can see, ChatGPT suggested adding an SMA filter together with an ATR-based stop loss and take profit. Let's get the modified Pine script and try it on TradingView. Unfortunately, the strategy is still not profitable. There's only one trade for the whole year, and it's not profitable either. Now, let's get Grok3 to do the same job with the same prompt. Grok seems to have thought a little deeper than ChatGPT, providing more comprehensive modifications. Let's try it on TradingView. Unfortunately, the strategy is still not profitable. However, Grok was able to increase the profit factor and reduce the drawdown compared to ChatGPT. So, although both of them failed to make the strategy profitable, Grok seems to have performed better. Now, let's ask them to create a strategy from scratch using the same prompt. Let's ask both of them to create a swing trading strategy for the gold pair on the daily time frame. ChatGPT created a strategy that uses a combination of moving averages, RSI, and an ATR-based stop loss. Let's see how it performs on TradingView. Unfortunately, the strategy did not generate any trades. Now let's get Grok to do the same with the same prompt. Unfortunately, the strategy did not generate any trades either, just like the strategy provided by ChatGPT. Let's ask them again, but this time in simpler terms, to create a scalping strategy using the same prompt. Okay, now we have a scalping strategy made by ChatGPT. Let's see how it performs. Unfortunately, there's a coding error. Let's try to get it fixed. Okay, now the code is fine, but unfortunately, the strategy is a big-time loser. Let's ask Grok the same question. We can see that Grok was faster than ChatGPT in providing answers. Now we have Grok's strategy code, let's paste it into TradingView. Wow, the strategy compiled with no errors and it is profitable. Kudos to Grok, it outperformed ChatGPT in every aspect. Finally, let's try combining two indicators into one using both platforms. Let's try to combine this RSI divergence indicator and the Bollinger Bands indicator into a single indicator. We'll copy the source codes of both indicators into ChatGPT and Grok and ask them to combine the codes into a single indicator. Thank you. 
Now both platforms have combined the codes and produced a single indicator script. It appears that Grok is much faster compared to ChatGPT. Now, let's try ChatGPT's code first. Unfortunately, the ChatGPT code has compilation errors. So let's move on to Grok's code. It compiles without errors, although the combined indicator is not exactly what we expected. However, credit goes to Grok for combining the two codes without errors. In conclusion, based on our quick test, Grok outperformed ChatGPT in every aspect. Grok produced answers faster and more accurately. So that's it guys. If you've got questions or need help, drop a comment. I'll be hanging out down there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.